Hey guys, Christina Hill here with um, Martial Arts Therapy. I'm an occupational therapist and today I'm in the hospital with bilateral pneumonia and I was actually admitted because um, I couldn't get my oxygen levels up to close to 100, which is where they need to be. They were about 89 when I came into the emergency room. So I had a hard time breathing. I didn't have any other symptoms, but um, I'm going to talk to you guys today about what I've been um, working on, what I tell my patients to work on whenever I see them in the acute hospital or even when I see them in rehab. Um, the first thing is, is that yes, you need to lay down and get your rest. Okay. You need to allow your body time to heal. Um, get, try to get some good sleep, um, and drink plenty of fluids. Uh, when we sleep, our body heals. Um, where do wear your oxygen, uh, when you're sleeping and when you're not like actively working on weaning off of it or, um, like for me when I'm eating or drinking, cause I have a difficult time, um, wearing the oxygen when I eat or drink. So, uh, but do wear it because if you, when you're sleeping and you're not getting good, um, tissue perfusion or good oxygen to your tissues, then it's very difficult for them to heal like they need to. And so it's important that you wear it, even if you're, you know, sitting around 90 oxygen saturation, which is what I'm doing. I'm sitting around 90 to 92, um, on three liters of oxygen and, um, Without it, I'd be breathing a lot worse, and I want to heal up fast so I can get out of here. <laughs> so, um, okay, so periodically, every hour, what I'm doing is I'm sitting up. Most of the day, I'm sitting up in the recliner. <clears throat> if you need help getting in the recliner, get some help. Don't fall and cause yourself a bigger problem. Um, <clears throat> I'm not a fall risk, so I'm okay to get up by myself. But I will sit up, and I'll pull my oxygen off for a little bit. And I'm working on my um, incentive spirometer. Okay. And so the goal is that you you set this. I'm not quite hitting a thousand, so that's where I set mine, but you can adjust this to kind of help yourself see how you're progressing. And then there's this over here. You're going to put this in your mouth. Inhale. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, it makes me cough. And that's what I wanted because when I came in, I felt like I was getting air down to here. But when it comes to those more narrow bronchial tubes and out here in the alveoli, my, um, my alveoli were not inflating. And so they actually, in the x-ray, they could see that they were collapsed a little bit because I had an infection in mucus that wasn't allowing air to get into the sacs. That's why my O2 sacs dropped. But this really helped me within a day to get them open back up. So I tell all my patients to do it. I do it too. <laughs> Oh, good patient. So you're trying to, don't try to just kick this thing all the way up here. Let it kind of hover and float around that best mark. So the breath has to be slow and control. <sighs> my, my goal. <clears throat> I haven't been doing that. It was like a thousand when I came in. So I'm alternating that 10 times an hour. And then I, uh, my respiratory therapist asked, told me to ask for the flutter valve. And so this one is whenever you exhale. So um, you hear that? There's really no crackles. Listen to this. <laughs> when I exhale, that's when I'm having a lot of problems. So um, I started, I, I did ask for this, and I started doing both of them. So you basically take your deep breath, and then <laughs> exhale it into the flutter valve. And this turns to make it more difficult. Just twist. And so, or make it easier, depending on what your level is. So you just have to get used to paying attention to your body, and then you'll just hold it um, however it needs to go into your mouth. Ten times an hour. Good. And then I'm always monitoring my oxygen levels when I'm off. Like, um, I'll get off my oxygen right there. I'll just slip it off right here. And I'm going into the bathroom. And I'm doing my ADLs. So I'm toileting, uh, brushing my teeth, um, took a shower. I'm doing all of that without oxygen because I'm trying to work on weaning my body off of it. But if I feel tired, I sit down and I take a break. Um... Um, but today I've been pushing through and getting it all done because I'm not as tired because I've been getting my antibiotics. I've been working on my breathing. 
Um, <clears throat> and I've been working on weaning off the oxygen. I just haven't been successful at um, getting my level up past 92 yet. But I, f I feel better when I'm up moving around. Um, and I'm starting to excel some of my drainage. I'm taking my breathing treatments um, on time. But I'll tell you what. Whenever I come back from doing all my ADLs and I get in bed, if my oxygen is still 90, this is going back on. Because um, I need my tissues to be perfused. I need to have good oxygen in here. Um, I'm, so that my body can heal at the cellular level so I can prevent a lengthy admission to the hospital. I'm already going on. Tomorrow will be my third day here. And make sure you drink plenty of fluids. Stay away from the sodas. You really don't need that in your body. Um, even though it tastes good, we have to be able to kick those sugar addictions um, and have a more clean system to have optimal healing environment. Okay? I'm getting used to drinking and having this oxygen on it was kind of rough on me at first but I'm getting desensitized to it and um, we're pretty adaptable as people so whatever you think you're right <laughs> uh, if you think that oh god I can never do that guess what you're never going to do it but if you have a yes I can attitude and you push through and you listen to your body and um, you give it what it needs and you have a goal in mind of where you're going you will be able to accomplish so much thank you